I met this girl in college, man. She was like, she was so out my league. I knew she was. This girl was so fine. She was from Louisiana, man. Oh, this girl was so fine. When I saw her, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> now I'm in college, I'm a freshman. And I saw the girl and I just, ah. So that evening, I went home, I'm in college. I called my brother. I said, hey man, I just met this girl. I ain't really met her, I see her, man. But what, how do I get right next to her? He said, man, listen to me, listen to me. Cause my brother, <laughs> my brother was cool. I thought my brother was Marvin Gaye. You know, my brother was 11 years older than me, so I thought my brother Turd was Marvin Gaye. So he said, hey, listen, listen, what you tripping for? All you got to do tomorrow, when you see her, walk up to her and say, excuse me, I don't want to disrupt your day and nothing you got going, but it would really, really make my day if you were to tell me your name. And when you say that, just walk away. Next day in school, soon as I saw her, student center, Kent State, I walked right up to her. I said, excuse me. I said, I don't want to interrupt your day and stop nothing you're doing, but it would really make my day if you would just tell me what your name is. She said, it's Melinda. I said, Melinda, thank you. So I went home that evening and I called my brother. I said, hey man, I did it. He said, did you walk away like I told you? I said, yeah. I said, but what do I do next? He said, tomorrow, walk up to her and tell her, introduce yourself and tell her your name and say, so the next time I see you and I say hello to you, it would mean so much to me if you would just say my name back to me. I say, I say and then what I do? He said, walk off. <laughs> So next day, this is a true story. So next day I see her, I walk up to her, I said, hey, Melinda. She said, hi. I said, hold on one second. I said, I'd like to tell you my name. I said, my name is Steve. I said, all I want is when I say hello, Melinda, I would just love to hear you say my name back to me. That would mean so much to me. I said, let's try this. I said, hello, Melinda. She said, hello, Steve. I go back to the room. That night I called my brother. I said, bruh, I said, I said, what I do next? He said, first of all, man, stop sounding anxious. <laughs> Slow your roll. You got to get smooth with this. Now tomorrow when you see her, you say hello to her, wait on her to say your name, and then act like it knocked you out. <laughs> I said, act like it knocked me off. And then walk off, what the hell you think? <laughs> Click. <laughs> hey, Melinda, how you doing? Hey, Steve. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah! 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 Hey, bro. I did that, walked off. He said, what happened? I said, I don't know, man, but I heard a lot of her girlfriends go, ooh. <laughs> he says, dog, dog, little bro, you women, you women. He said, now listen to me, tomorrow when you see her, do the same thing, when she do the same thing, just say, listen, you ain't got no money, do you? I said, I got, I got a couple dollars. I said, all right, man, invite her out, be real smooth with it and tell her how much it would mean to you to invite her out. I said, and then walk away? He said, what the, you gotta wait on the answer? <laughs> it's a true story, I can't make this up. I didn't see her the next day. So I went the next, so the day after that, I saw her. Here she was, I saw her coming, I got over there in the path. <laughs> so I could look like I walked right past. I said, hey, Melinda. She said, hey, Steve. I said, <laughs> I 
I say, hey, hey, listen to me. Melinda, look, I'd really like to get to know you better. And I'd, I'd like to take you out maybe to the raft scale and get a slice of pizza or something. It would be my greatest honor if you would just go with me. If you can't, I understand, but I'm a real gentleman. I'd really like to have a nice time with you just sitting down eating a slice of pizza. She said, that would be nice. When would you like to do it? <laughs> I'm nervous, Noxus. You ain't tell me what to say. So I said, well, let me ask you something. When are you available? I said, are you available this evening, this weekend? She said, before I study, I, maybe we could get a piece of pizza before I go study. I said, tonight. She said, you want me to meet you? I said, I'll come get you. But I don't know what I'm, I ain't got no car. <laughs> so she said, you would come get me? I said, yeah, because I'm going to walk you there. I don't want you to have to walk across the campus by yourself. She said, she said, Oh my God, yes, you can come get me. When I walked up to that dorm room, it was about 30 girls in that hallway <laughs> came down there. I weighed about 147 pounds. I walked in there, ladies, how y'all doing? How you doing, ladies? Ta ta ta, knocked on that door. She came out, the jeans was tight. I lost it. I went. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.